Welcome to the Lunar Smart Community. Lomarnity. Let's take a ride through the energy producing lunar plant. Watch your step. This lunar rover will drive automatically. Please take your time to view the lunar landscape and lunar plant. The rover is currently traveling through a large crater at the south pole of the moon. This crater is known as the permanently shadowed crater, where sunlight does not reach. The crater is covered with lunar sand called regolith which contains water. Mining at the bottom of the crater will collect the regolith and transport it to the lunar plant. The device seen on the left extracts water from the regolith. The device, visible on both sides, electrolyzes water to produce hydrogen and oxygen. The white panels laid on the slope of the crater are called radiators, which dissipate the heat from the hydrogen and oxygen produced and gradually cools the gases. Look behind you. You can see the entire crater. The hydrogen and oxygen are further cooled by a device installed at the rim of the crater to turn the hydrogen and oxygen into liquid. Since we are looking from the south pole of the moon, the Earth looks upside down with the south pole at the top. The tanks on both sides are for storing liquefied hydrogen and oxygen. The stored liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen will be used to power rockets and lunar rovers that will land and take off from the lunar port in the foreground, and to support human activities on the moon. As we have seen, a lunar plant is a factory that produces energy from water resources in a crater in the polar regions of the moon. Thank you for your time. This is the end of the tour by the lunar rover. Next, we will take you to the lunar port. You have arrived at the lunar port. The gravity on the moon is one-sixth of Earth. You can feel the difference by jumping. Thank you very much. This is the end of the lunar plant tour.